Well, now you just heard uh, Jeff Henderson talk about the mosquito born uh, Zika virus uh, spread in the great state of Florida. A man recognized as the worldwide expert on mosquitoes is Mosquito Steve in the great state of Texas. Also a fellow radio talk show host on 1190 Talk Radio uh, AM or streaming live on iHeartRadio. And Mosquito Steve, welcome again to the Bill Cunningham Show. Well, howdy, Willie. You are a great American, and I'm glad to be with you. <laughs> glad you're here. We just had a big news story here about the Zika virus in Florida. I've heard some Olympic officials say you're more likely to be stung by a mosquito carrying the Zika virus in Pensacola, Florida, than you are in Rio de Janeiro. So what does this mean now that the Zika virus has come to America's sunshine state? Well, first of all, it's uh, it, there's nothing to worry about yet. We still don't know if that uh, that virus came from a mosquito or some other contact. There's a case in Utah, the same thing. Uh, until they tell us where, exactly where it came from, we don't know. But, you know, I'm reading stuff on the Internet, and I got people freaking out. It's just amazing how people are just they're going to, to going crazy over this. Most people will not show symptoms if they get bit by a, a Zika carrying mosquito. Say that again, because if you're a man or a woman, even a child rearing uh, ages, you're still, even if you get bit by a mosquito carrying Zika, it's no big deal, right? It's, it's likely that it's no big deal. Most people will show no symptoms. A few people will show a very light flu. It's only when they're pregnant or if you've got other illnesses. The guy in Utah, you know, had some, he was really old. He had a bunch of, he was sick anyways. He was on his deathbed anyway. So, so, uh, so that you really can't blame that one on Zika. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Just, and so, but we're repelling anyways, cause I'll tell you, like down here, we've got the neuroinvasive West Nile virus. Now we've got three victims of it here in north texas that that stuff that'll get you that'll put you in the hospital and probably kill you so you don't want to get the neuroinvasive west Nile virus but how do you i mean i could i don't understand why someone who's a swimmer or a track star would not go to rio because of the zika virus is it true that there's more new cases in america of zika than brazil um no <laughs> that is not true but but here's the thing it's I, it's probably going to shock you but people are selfish and self-centered and they they think about themselves instead of others and they don't think about their country anymore um you know it was a yeah. lot different when i was growing up you yeah. know we used to care about country and when you in fact when you uh, gave your word you stood by it and uh, all that's gone away so uh yeah i don't understand these people i really don't understand them dropping out of the olympics but i hear it's a mess down there anyway so well, there's narco traffickers. You can't drink the uh, you can't drink the water. You shouldn't eat the food. Uh, there, the Paralympics were held two weeks ago, and they had 78 separate armed robberies of Paralympians in wheelchairs. And so, if you're a wheelchair bound, or if you're an American and you stand out down there, all of a sudden you're going to have four or five guns stuck upside your head, and that doesn't count the Zika virus at all. I worry about human beings more than I worry about mosquitoes. I do too. Absolutely. You know, that's the only thing that kills more human beings than, than mosquitoes are, are people. So, 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 so at we this point, worry about people. you know, mosquito Steve, but you live in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. What should we worry about here? Because in North Texas, you're worried about this, this other kind of mosquito. But I just played golf yesterday in the friendly confines of the Kenwood Country Club. I didn't get bit by a mosquito. Don't think about it. Should I even be thinking about this stuff if I live in Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana? Uh, you know, it'd be irresponsible of me not to say you should be at least be careful enough to wear some repellent. I would not wear DEET if you're going golfing, unless you can golf around in 45 minutes. Uh, DEET's not going to help you very much. So, so I would use something more effective. I need to send you some of my stuff. I, I really do, Willie. Yeah. But when we get done here, let me get your uh, the place where I'll send it. I'll send you a, a bunch of it. You can hand it out to your friends. They'll well, love it. You'll smell better. Well, I need to smell better now. Since you're in North Texas and since your friend Ted Cruz uh, committed political suicide last night, I watched him this morning in front of your delegation, the Texas delegation, and he said, well, some of my promises and vows and signed documents have expiration dates, got to use it by, and because, because Trump said some bad things about Heidi and Raphael, my wife and my father, uh, my promises are not, not operative anymore, and he wrapped himself in the American flag and said, it's okay for me uh, to lie. 
And, and I don't get it. I don't understand it. All that does is help elect Hillary Clinton, which continues this nation on the on the slide down the tubes. What do you think as a North Texas resident about your U.S. senator violating his promise? Well, I want to remind you he was born in Canada, not in Texas. Okay, right. That's true. <laughs> if he was born in if he was born in Texas, he would have been brought up better. Um, so I, I'm, I honestly, I voted for him. I did, and I, I'm ashamed to say that now because, yeah, it was absolutely embarrassing last night. And um, uh, I thank God, you know, the, the night wasn't a total loss. But but watching him, um, I, I just the whole thing is embarrassing. Honestly, I got to tell you, I'm embarrassed for Kasich. I'm embarrassed for um, for uh, Gingrich. Um, you know, I, I've got a crush on Laura though. Um, uh, but but the rest of the guys, Laura, you mean Laura Ingram? Laura Ingram. Yeah, she was good. Yes. She was good. Oh my gosh, she was amazing, and she looked right in the camera and said and pointed at Hillary. I love that. But that's guts. That's the kind of guts we're missing from these politicians these days. Well, all we're going to do is give the nation over to the third Obama term, which has brought us Obamacare, southern border wide open, incredibly high deficits, no positive international relations. We have uh, situations where the federal government is regulating industries like coal mining out of existence. She's going to double down the first four years of her term. She'll keep running to the left because she didn't want to have a primary opponent in four years to beat her in the primary. So this woman's going to be nothing but a leftist, as Obama has been. And so this country is going to continue to go down the tubes the next four to eight years. And, and I'm not down in neighbor with Trump either. I'm, I'm going to vote for the guy. The one thing I want to know, Mosquito Steve, is who do you want nominating individuals for the U.S. Supreme Court? Do you want Obama doing it, or do you want Trump doing it, or do you want Hillary doing it? Of those three, uh, Obama's been doing it without much success from my viewpoint. He nominates leftists. Hillary promises more of the same. We're going to have Sotomayor's from here to the... Uh, for the next 20 years, we can't afford it. We can get rid of Hillary in four years at the ballot box. But, but if, if she elects, if she puts in four to five U.S. Supreme Court justices, that's the next 30 years. Mosquito Steve, we can't recover from that. No, no, we can't. And in fact, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about Obama having a third term and declaring martial law and stuff. And I have to tell you, I have thought this for a year, and I'm not one of the, I'm not a kook. I promise I'm not a kook. But I've heard people talk about that, and, and you know what? It would not, nothing would surprise me at this point. And so, yes, I definitely want Trump um, or some conservative making the decision um, and, and putting those Supreme Court justices in there because I am definitely afraid we're going to lose the second um, uh, sure. amendment. And, um, uh, yeah, I just, I, I'm very worried for this country. Our small, very worried for this country.